And here we have the Skies of Sordain Merchant Guild's Trade Barge. It is lots and lots of pieces, but we're gonna run through them all for you real quick. Uh, first, we have the bottom level here. It comes in four pieces usually. Uh, here, it, the this one piece in the front and another piece in the back. And then there's two halves to the sides here, along with the uh, interior walls that you have there with a whole bunch of doors in there. It's kind of a, a little crew quarters down there. Um, there are mounts on the bottom for stands. Uh, and I, there are two stands that I include. Uh, one goes on the front, one goes on the back. Uh, there are also some modular hard points on the bottom for the uh, optional Solarite gem that exists in the, in the lore. Uh, that comes with the optional add-on pack that has uh, all of the extra hard points and things like that. Uh, then we have the second level here. Uh, that also consists of four pieces. These are all four separate pieces. Uh, they all snug right together. Um, between these two pieces and these two pieces, there is a wall. This one's fallen over. Can't get it to quite stand up. Uh, but one here is right uh, already installed. I usually pre-install that one because it's a little bit of a bear to get in. Uh, and so I go ahead and do that for you. Uh, just tack it down with a little bit of, of uh, crazy glue at the ends and it'll be good to go. Um, on top of that goes the top level. That, that's uh, printed here in resin. I usually do that just because it's a uh, slightly awkward shape on the bottom. It's got some, some weirdness for it. So um, those usually get printed in resin. And so there's eight pieces here. All of the levels have um, alignment holes that are sized for filament. I usually include a couple yards of filament for you to cut up and use to align all of the little holes uh, for, for assembling all of the bits. Uh, in addition to that, there is a walkway that goes around this second level. Uh, you can see this slot. It just kind of slots right in there and you can glue that right in. There's a whole bunch of pieces that go around the ship. Uh, it doesn't go quite all the way around. Uh, these cargo bay doors don't have um, any walkway underneath them. Uh, and that's partially because of one of the optional pieces. So you can just use a regular piece of decking. It'll go there, it'll look fine. You can also instead use this piece here that has a couple of mounting points for some cranes. And I go ahead and include those two. So there's a crane and then there's an arm and a little grabby claw that you can see there if it will focus. It will not, but that's okay. So it's a little grabby claw that'll go there. And so you can build those. I include two of those. Um, and then there are railings, both for the top deck and for the walkway, except for that little bit there with the um, cranes. They all have walkways. And so there are walkways for the top deck, which are these guys here. Uh, these guys have these round posts that are kind of flat on the top. Uh, those are used as mounting points for uh, some hydraulics that are on the blimp that are these guys. The big ball mounts into these mounting holes here, and then the, the small end goes and rests on those. You don't have to glue those down. Uh, speaking of the blimp, there is the blimp. It is very large. Um, it's a, it's a very long print to, to include that blimp, but it looks really cool, so that's always nice. There are some uh, mounting arms for those. There's a pair of mounting arms. These are actually two pieces. Don't glue these together. Uh, this one can magnetize onto the side of the level right here, and then this one gets glued onto this bit here of the... Uh, the blimp so you can see right there that it glues right in there uh, and then that between that and the 
hydraulics that will hold it up. Um, the other railings here go around that second level and they uh, are just railings. Uh, the other stuff that we include are these little caps. So if you don't want to use the blimp or uh, on any of the other hard points that are here, there are some little decorative caps that can go in there. Those are set up for 10 millimeter by two millimeter magnets that uh, will magnetize in there. And then there is a optional uh, set of engines and a few other bits and bobs that can be added on to those hard points. And they're modular, they magnetize on. And there are a couple of these ladders, also resin printed, because they're a little too fiddly to do with an FDM printer. Uh, these just go up and over the railings onto that top level. There is not a hatch between the top level and the, the middle level, uh, though there is a little hatch there. And I do include a set of stairs, so you can have some stairs under there, uh, so you can get between those two levels and uh, enough doors to have a couple of options as well. So these will slot right into any of the doorways. Let's see if we can show me doing it. I'm trying to do it with the opposite hand that I probably should. So yeah, they your doors can go in there. They might need a little bit of fitting. Um, they were printed on different printers, but they, uh, there you go, you got your door in there and they do work so you don't need to glue those down. You do have working doors uh, and there are enough options. So there's these big, nice heavy doors uh, along with some wooden doors that you can't really see because it's in a light resin. Sorry, it's what I had on my hand. Um, but yeah, that is all of the bits there. It is a lot of pieces. Um, oh, and one other thing. There is a set of parts that go on the back of the um, blimp here. This has a set of fins that go in these little squares down here that you can see. There's that little rounded square in there. Uh, there's one on each of the four sort of cardinal points of it. And that's where these mount, so you can just glue those right in. That may need a little sanding and fitting too, uh, along with a propeller. Uh, this doesn't look very much like a propeller. This is the hub for the propeller. Uh, there's a little hole for it to sit in and it can sit down there. And then there are eight of these fins uh, and they get glued into the little recesses there. That will almost certainly need some sanding and fitting uh, these got put directly on the build plate, so there's a little bit of elephant's foot there, so it'll need some sanding to, to get them in there. Um, I could have printed this all as one part, but chances are about even that it would get to you and they'd all be snapped off anyways. So um, I go ahead and print all these parts separately so you can assemble them so they don't arrive broken. Uh, but that should be it. It's a lot of parts, but... It's a relatively straightforward build. Uh, it just requires a little bit of fiddling on a few of these. Um, but yeah, enjoy your model.